Let's see how to improve your pancake stretch. This exercise is very useful for flares, windmills, air flares and power moves in general. The more you improve it, the easier most of power moves will get and your power move form will also improve. If you need more help for your breaking, I offer different coaching plans. Check out my Patreon link in the description. And I also created some power moves guides about the windmill, the flare, the swipe, and the air flare. Check out the guides on my coffee page. I will leave also this link in the description. First of all, what is a good pancake stretch level in order to be able to do power moves? In my opinion, this is the minimum that you need for power moves. From the front, looks like that. From the side, looks like that. If you are more unflexible than that, so if you can open your legs less, and you are kind of like this, or you have to bend your legs very much in order to be able to touch your feet, power moves will be very challenging for you. Maybe you can learn some of them, like crickets, turtles, power moves where you don't need to open your legs that much, but other power moves like windmills, flares, are gonna be a little bit challenging. You can still learn them if you are very inflexible, but you will not be able to do it with your legs widely spread. First thing, I recommend to practice this stretch here as well, grabbing your feet and going down slowly. The more you improve this one, the more you will also be able to improve the pancake stretch. They are a little bit related for the hamstrings because in both stretches you're gonna stretch this part of the leg, the hamstrings. Here, with your legs closed, the hamstring stretch is gonna be a little bit more intense. If you open your legs, you're gonna also stretch this part here of the legs. So it's gonna be a little bit less intense on the hamstrings but a little bit more intense here. So first of all, practice this one. Second, practice the regular split starting from standing. So from here, slowly slide with your feet down, very, very slowly and open your legs. Third one, the butterfly, this pose here. This one will also help you to open your legs more. If you cannot open more than that, you can grab your ankles and push your legs down with your elbows like this. Now, how to execute the exercises? There are many different ways or methods to do stretching. What worked best for me and what made me improve the most is just holding the position and breathe deeply. Every time I inhale, I try to straighten my back. I'm gonna show you from the side. So every time I inhale, I try to get taller and straighten the back and every time I exhale I try to bend forward and to relax and to go as deeply as possible forward. So inhale and exhale. Then I do the same but I try to go a little bit deeper. So inhale and exhale. And then again, I try to be, go even deeper. And so on. So every time I inhale and I exhale, I try to go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. When I usually start stretching, I never go directly fully in my, like in the full position, but I always go very slowly. Also, when I open my legs, I don't directly open as wide as possible to avoid injuries, but I always try to open less at first. Also, now that I'm showing you in the videos, I try to open a little less and gradually and slowly when I feel more ready, I try to open more and more and more. Usually the longer I stretch, the more I can open. So personally, I also do more sets of the same exercise in order to go even deeper in a specific position. So for example, if I wanna go deeper in my pancake stretch, I don't just stay here randomly for like one minute. For me, it's almost useless, but I try to breathe deeply to, to go deeper in each exhale. Then maybe I do another exercise. I don't know, I do a shoulder extension and I do the same thing, I breathe deeply and then I get back to the pancake once more and I do the same and I repeat and I stay for around one minute again something like this and I try to go deeper and deeper and I do it for three four or even five times if I really want to have a deep stretching session I also go sometimes for 10 sets Maybe the next day I don't do so much stretching, I do a little bit less. So this is up to you. I cannot really tell you numbers exactly. You should figure out by yourself. What I recommend you doing is breathe deeply, try to go deeper in each breath and do more sets of the same exercise. If you do different sets, try to alternate, do the pancake, then do something else. You can do this one, you can do this one, or you can do something
something completely different, for example, for shoulders or for the back in order to alternate more. This is up to you. And then get back to the same stretch that you did before. Don't just do one exercise once. For me, it never really worked doing one exercise just one time in a stretching session. Most of people do that, but I don't really see improvements in their flexibility. So I really don't recommend you doing that. If you need more help for your breaking, check out my Patreon for coaching or check out my coffee for power moves guides. And see you next time with a new tutorial. Yo Ninjas!